So we saw a lot of patients during COVID time and after recovering from COVID coming to us with damaged hip joints which required a hip replacement surgery. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to increase the longevity of your implant so that you can avoid the next surgery in near future. One, so you should always insist on getting US FDA approved implants and not the local implants just in the name of reducing the cost. Two, using ceramic implants increases the longevity of the implant. Three, Although most of the movements are allowed after hip replacement surgery, but you should avoid doing extreme movements which can actually affect the stability of the implant and also the longevity of the implant. So after hip replacement surgery, when can you use a toilet seat? In general, after a hip replacement surgery, we encourage our patients to go to the washroom themselves right from day one. In the first two to three weeks, we are using a chair commode, which is a relatively higher seat. And once you're comfortable, once the stitches have healed, in two to three weeks time, you can start using a normal toilet seat. Hi, you had a hip replacement surgery and you're in the first week of recovery. Here's what you should know. Most of the patients are able to walk within 24 hours of the surgery. Not only that, they can sit on a chair and they can take stairs also within the first week. And you're in the second week of recovery, then you should know that at this stage, we expect our patients to walk full weight bearing we expect our patients to sit and stand from a chair very comfortably and most of the patients are pain free at this stage which means that they have some stretch pain around their operated area but it's not that pain for which they need a painkiller and you're in the third week of your recovery then you must know that by now your dressing is off your wound has dried up you're able to take a shower you can put water on your operated area and most of the patients are able to walk as per their comfort for 15 to 20 minutes and they are able to walk unaided and you are in the fourth week of recovery here's what you should know by now you should be able to drive your car and my physio team prepares you to also sit on a bike so that you can ride a bike within next week yeah you should be able to use a commode comfortably and it shouldn't be difficult for you to stand up from the commode or sit on the commode can i sit cross-legged after a hip replacement surgery the answer is yes you can because after your first hip replacement surgery, most of the movements of daily living are allowed and sitting cross-legged is possible in majority of the patients. 